Hey there, this is Unmesh from Pixim Perfect. Thank you so very much for tuning into this video. I hope you're having a great day and if not, I'm sure you're doing your best to make it an awesome one. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create the line man, the straw man, thread man, whatever you want to call it, this particular effect in Photoshop. It is not as challenging as it seems and it's super fun to do. Also, I'm sure by the end of this video, I'm going to get calls from Marvel and DC. So thank you for your congratulations in advance. So without any further ado, <laughs> let's get started. As usual, back in the brilliantly magical world of Photoshop, and if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, you know what to do. Check the links in the description. First thing we need to do is to create a brand new layer. And you can start drawing the stripes. Now to help you, you can also create a solid color adjustment layer. So select the background layer because we want to create a layer on top of that. And next thing you do is to click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. And let's choose black right here. Let's decrease the opacity to about 50. This will help you see the white things because if you don't have this and then you start drawing stripes in the white areas, it might be hard to see. So we created this solid color adjustment layer. For the top layer, you can name it threads, stripes, whites, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's take the brush and this time we're going to take the hard round pressure size brush. If you're not using a Wacom tablet, just use a hard brush. Now to help you draw smoother stripes, you can take the help of smoothing. It's like training wheels on a bicycle. It really helps you. So if there is no smoothing, every movement in your hand is going to show up. I'm purposely shaking my hand a little bit. But if you have smoothing on, let's set it to about 50%. It allows you to create smooth lines even if you're working with a mouse. So especially if you are on a mouse, take the help of smoothing. For this example, I want the lines to be really smooth. So I'm also going to increase it to about 50%. If you are on a mouse, you might want to increase it even further. Now make sure the foreground color is white and start drawing the lines like this. Now there is no hard and fast rule as to how you want to do it. You are the artist. Photoshop is just a tool. This is just me giving you an idea. Just break free, break the rules, remove the boundaries. There are no rules in art and just start doing what you feel is right. Also, one more experimental thing you can do here is use any other kind of brush or maybe just decrease the smoothing to zero and have a shaky line in there. Create some waves like structure. You can also create something like an audio wave. That's up to you. See what your vision is or in other words, think of the end result in mind and also consider the amount of time you're going to give it. Because if you do something very complicated and it's taking you a hell lot of time, you might get bored and give up. Don't do that. Start with simple. So let's start drawing from scratch. Now, if you're working with a pressure sensitive brush, it is very hard to guess, especially when the brush is big, where the point would be, right? If you're pressing softly, you don't know where the center is. So in those cases, caps lock can be important. So if you press the caps lock, the brush changes to a crosshair. That way it's very easy to see where the tip of the brush is. Draw the strokes according to the crevices, the ups and the downs. So as there is a downfall here, so we're going to move the lines accordingly and the hair comes back up and we're going to raise it back up. Just like this. Now if you want to adjust the ends, I would decrease the smoothing and then continue from there. You can also press the caps lock to see where the points are. See as we go through the crevices, we are making the necessary ups and downs and the changes in the line. We are just drawing it as it would look if it were actually painted on the subject. Always keep in mind as you're doing this, keep your brush size consistent. For this example, I have kept it to 30. So according to your image, choose what fits you best. Now once you have a blast painting the stripes, the next few steps are just cakewalk. 
Select the background layer and press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Place it at the very top, above the stripes. And you can name this layer Shaping because this is the layer that's going to shape and mold the stripes to make it look realistic. Next, we need to take away all the colors. To do that, press Ctrl Shift U, Command Shift U. Now, limit it just to the stripes. Again, how do we do that? We simply create a clipping mask. So hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the line between these two layers. You see this icon? Once you click with that icon, it tells you that it's limited just to the stripes. Now, it looks weird. Why does it look weird? Because we don't have a solid background. The background that we just created has an opacity of 50%. Again, we planned beforehand. So just simply increase the opacity of this one to 100. And there you have it, my friend. You can leave it at that. However, there's one more effect that we can go for. If we select the shaping layer, and first of all, let's convert it into a smart object so that whatever effect we apply or filter we apply, we can change the values of that filter later. So right click on it and then choose convert to smart object. And then let's go to filter, blur, and Gaussian Blur. You can also try Surface Blur, that's up to you. So Gaussian Blur is also nice. Let's increase the value. Let's keep it at about 15. It also creates a super sleek effect of an abstract human being. Just zoom out and have a look how cool this looks in black. So that's how simple it is to create the String Man in Photoshop. Now keep in mind, I said simple, not easy. But then again, at the same time, it is just so much fun to draw the strings. And you can just do zigzag strings. You can do thick and thin strings. You can try different brushes. The possibilities are, as always, limitless. You can also try different colors. I want you to think outside the box or even better yet, just throw away the box and think in open space. Let's do a quick little recap. First of all, create a black solid color adjustment layer and decrease its opacity to 50%. This is gonna assist you in painting the stripes. On top of that, create a blank new layer and take a brush. You can take any brush you choose. In this example, we took the hard drawn brush with pressure sensitivity and we started painting the stripes. After you have done that, it's a cakewalk. Just make a copy of the background layer, place it at the very top using clipping mask, limit it to the stripes, take away all the colors. If you want to blur it or apply any filter, don't forget to convert it into a smart object first and then do that and you're pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you have a lot of fun doing this. And I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.